this, I just found this an interesting story. It turns out that over the last, I don't know, six, seven years, there's been a significant increase, a steady and significant increase of attacks against the electric grid infrastructure. Uh, many of these attacks are just people going out there to a, uh, uh, a substation and just shooting it up. That happened in North Carolina a while ago, and electricity was out for, I can't remember, uh, uh, s several tens of thousands of people for, s for four days. Uh, you know, many of these are uh, committed by, uh, as far as we know, by uh, white supremacist groups and by neo-Nazis. If you go to their um, chats and their websites, there are instructions on how to bring down the grid, how to attack the infrastructure, what to shoot at if you're shooting at something in order to do damage. And they are actively encouraging people to attack the grid. But there's been a, a significant market attack up. Now, there's very little, the data's not super reliable. Uh, whatever, whatever data we have is, um, you know, is partial at best. But last year, there were 200 attacks. This year, in the first quarter, I think, just in the first quarter, three months, there were 62. Uh, just to give you a sense, in 2018, there were eight in the first quarter and, and maybe 60 in the whole year. So in 2023, we've had in the one quarter more attacks than we had in, uh, in all of 2018. And almost all experts believe that this is significantly underreported. Some of the more sophisticated attacks or attempts at attacks are done uh, are cyber attacks. Some of them are from outside the United States, but most of them are internally in the U.S., it's just, you know, weird that, that this is, in a sense, allowed to happen, uh, that uh, the authorities don't understand this phenomena better and are not out there doing more to stop it. This is more of a sign of cultural deterioration when we have internal groups trying to inflict significant damage on the infrastructure. What's the goal? What's the purpose? Maybe to, I mean, one attack that was thwarted was, was they were trying to bring down the, the electric grid in Baltimore with the idea that Baltimore, being a, a city dominated by a black population, you know, maybe they expect riots. Maybe the riots will lead to their, you know, their dreamed of race war. What is the purpose? Or is it just to terrorize, just to fear? Or is it just nihilism? Uh, again, hard to tell. It could very well be that some of these attacks are from um, environmental groups, left-wing groups, but the ones where they've actually found the people, they've, they've so far been uh, from these far-right groups. And it's also true that the far-right groups are the ones that are recommending this to their members and giving guidance on how to do it. So I just found this bizarre and, and sad and another indication of the a craziness that is inflicting our country. I, I, I don't know what, the, you know, and this is me being pessimistic, I guess, but I don't know what the path out of this is. I don't know. We, 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 as I've said often over the last few years, the, the far right, the far left, the crazy right, the crazy left are truly crazy. And how you bring the country together, given the gravitational pull of the far left and the far right, I, I, I just don't know. And it's a real challenge. It's a challenge our politicians are not up to. It's a challenge our, politi our politicians uh, have not embraced, don't seem interested in embracing. Uh, there's nobody on the political map today who could pull it off. There's nobody on the political map today that could bring the country together. And I'm not talking about everybody thinking alike and because one danger is we bring it together under the banner of authoritarianism, which is probably how it all ends. But how do we bring the country together around some a shared vision of progress, a shared vision of individual rights, a shared vision of what it means to be an American, uh, even with the disagreements one would expect uh, in the world in which we live? It's hard to tell where we're heading, but it... it, it 
you know, as you see more and more of these data points, it does not look like we're heading in a positive direction.